All right. Well, I wanted to show you a little demo of something I've been working on. I basically wanted to do a bunch more work in AR and VR. I'd done a little bit of consumption of Oculus stuff. I bought a HTC Vive. Um, I've been looking at HoloLens. And so a lot of that ties over to learning Unity. I'd done some static models into um, the Vive and to the Oculus before um, through Unity and just loading things from SketchUp, but it was really static and just looking around within things. Um, I wanted to teach myself Unity so that I could actually build interactive elements, explore some of the interactivity um, within apps and games and different things, and, uh, and I needed to come up to skill. So I had about 10 things I needed to learn that I felt like was the min bar to be able to you know, create an experience. I've gotten through about eight of them. Most of it for me also was learning the workflow. I was going from SketchUp um, to like, or Creative Cloud uh, applications to into Unity, loading those into Unity and then creating game around that or an experience around that. And then also when you're downloading different things within uh, Unity, different experiences like you know a teleporter or, or something to be able to grip and grab objects, the scripts usually don't work together. And so there are things you have to overcome around, like if I'm teleporting and I'm holding something, uh, it's being done using a hinge. And so I need to be able to move that object over to where I'm teleporting to. And so you gotta go in and modify those scripts um, quite a bit to be able to get it to do what you want. And so I've been doing a bunch of that, uh, that workflow elements, the scripting elements uh, and creating the experience here. So it's pretty rough. Uh, it probably took me a couple, three weeks to do, uh, on and off being on vacation and, and doing it after hours, after work and on the weekends at home. And so it's, you know, probably less effort than two or three weeks, but uh, overall it's been a, it's been a fun ride. So I'll show you what I did. As a starting point for what I wanted to learn, I didn't want to reinvent the wheel, all these type of interaction types and, and levels, et cetera, that were done in Vive environments already, but moreover, just learn how they did those things so then in the future I can expand on those and do other types of interactivity that I wanted to be able to explore. So starting off, um, I've got a level that's kind of a... Uh, uh, puzzle room of sorts that you have to get through a few different things in order to get out of the level. And uh, so the starting point for it is in a fairly constrained space. I want to be able to bring the user into that space where they would start. Um, and so I have this little element here that when I step into it, it loads the first level of the game. And so in this infiltration mission, I'm standing in an air duct area, fairly constrained room, and there's my partner up there. We've just gassed this facility so that we can break in and steal their technology. And so in this case, um, the vent has been knocked down. I have the path in front of me. I need to open that vent and go into the other area. Um, in this case, I didn't actually in this part uh, build in, said I got through eight of 10 things I wanted to be able to do. Um, I didn't go through and do some of the things around twisting and turning these knobs, but it's fairly easy to just make this a physical object and I can grab it and move it aside. Um, but also to have a constrained environment where there's a penalty if you, um, for instance, just walk through a wall like this and look outside the environment. Um, I wanted to be able to have something that would force you to go down. And if you lifted your head and went through a wall, there'd be a penalty it'd move you back to the beginning or something of that nature. Obviously, for accessibility, this is not the best uh, situation for everybody, but uh, you know, something I want to be able to explore around the constraint. So at any rate, assuming you crawl through this environment and uh, come into the other room, um, you're in this entry area, uh, offers you some ability to kind of walk around within the environment, as well as um, I've got some screens over there and we'll take a look. All right, I'm patched into the security cameras. The lab is isolated from the gas and it looks like we need a way in. Take a look around and see if you can find anything. There's a security guard nearby who's passed out appears to have an ID badge. Maybe you can make something of that. So I've got a uh, animation script running on the woman in the lab there. She's doing some work. She's uh, cut off from the gas that came in here. There's a security guard that's passed out some animation I applied. Uh, these are Mixamo models uh, through Adobe Creative Cloud that are licensed and royalty free. So I was able to utilize those. Um, and then uh, I had these operating you know, security cameras. You can see the one up there. It's actually tracking my movement. It's got me mapped with this helmet on, which is the thing that's triggering uh, the, 
audio that comes when I walk into the scene. Uh, so this just gives me some basic you know, ability to convey uh, messages, audio messages, as well as video messages to the user um, across the environment. And as I can see here now, I've got to go down this hallway and find the security guard. So um, I'm going to zap over to here, teleport over here, and now I've got the security panel. So a lot of these things were, um, you know, things that I built in SketchUp. So I created these models in SketchUp. And then some of the things like this handle here was stuff that was in the SketchUp warehouse that I utilized. Or like the flooring here was something that I got out of the Unity store. And the fog was something I just created myself in Photoshop. So there's a mix of things that I've, you know, gone in and created myself and putting this environment together as well as stuff that's, uh, you know, that were from the different stores and warehouses that are available. So at any rate, when I go in here to enter the code, I'm just going to go in here and try enter it. My companion would tell me, hey, he hasn't found anything yet, uh, how to get in here, but he said the keys look worn because he's seeing through my little helmet here, presumably. And so I look down and sure enough, uh, the one, four, eight, and nine are worn. So I'm going to go in here and hit those. And it says, well, that didn't work. So people use years as passcode. So it's 1489. I'm going to try 1984 and hit enter here. And there you go. So I'm into this room. So once I go in this room, you can see there's a security guard lying here. He's got a little badge on him. So I'm going to um, go up here and grab this badge because I want to get into the door over there. So I grab his badge and walk back over here to the hallway where I want to be able to go down here and swipe the badge to get in the door. So now that I swipe the badge, there is gas uh, flowing into this room. I didn't do any animation or anything else, but you can see the gas had expanded where you're seeing it on the camera over there to all the way into the room. And if I step in there, um, there's a woman working on a computer. Now she would be animated and fall down. So I didn't get that far. Um, oh, one of my other little fun things is I, I made this badge so it has a little hinge on it and the little badge holder so it looks like a real badge. That was kind of a fun effort, just learning how hinges work and how, you know, how to animate things in a very natural way um, within Unity. And, uh, you know, the animations here, the hinges there, a lot of these environmental things is just a learning process that I was going through. So that's all I have right now. The Presumably the technology that they have that I've broken into is passed here. Uh, the next model I was going to have is that once the woman passes out, you have to lift up her body and this thing scans her. And then that allows you into this big gate that gets into the big area um, that you want to be able to get into. But that's all I did right now. This is how I learned Unity. All right.